What's up, everybody? Bryce Tui here with Small Cap Recap. Happy Friday, Money Friday, as I should be saying. Today was a wild day in the market, penny stock wise. We had a lot of great action. Unfortunately, I have not been able to do much trading this week, and today was no exception. Dealing with some personal stuff, some, uh, I, I won't get into it. It's, it's personal. It is personal. But it's great to see action back. It's good because this allows me to kind of get that bias and at least get to learn, right? I'm always learning. Every single day is a new day for me to learn. And when we have a lot of action, it's a great day to learn. And today we're going to recap some of those movers, some of uh, some really great multi-day patterns that I love and um, some others, just some watches that I want to keep an eye on for the next few days. But we did have some really amazing action today. So I hope you guys all crushed it because the charts I'm about to get into are just stupid and a lot of fun. Um, and so I'm hoping to be able to get back a little bit more and uh, lightly get back into my trading next week. Um, it is going to take a little bit of time, sadly. But personal stuff happens and it's just part of the game. And I, I think that the, the difference is back, you know, months ago, maybe even a year ago, I would have been trading right now despite going through so much stuff. But the problem is I know that despite there being amazing opportunity today, I would have probably taken a lot of early losses, which would have gotten me really shaken up, would have gotten me really mentally. It would have given me a lot of FOMO. Uh, and some of the charts I'm about to go over, I think I would have scalped a lot more than their actual potential it had because again, I just mentally flustered. Uh, and that would have given me FOMO, ended up buying highs, selling lows. Now, whether or not that actually would have happened, who knows? Uh, but it, it's it, regardless, you know, when you do have, like let this be a lesson to you, right? When you have personal stuff going on, mentally not there, it sucks. But at the same time, like this is probably the best I've felt getting to look over the market and still being okay with a, a hot day and I'm not there. Uh, obviously, I'd like to be there as much as possible, but sometimes it happens. Anyways, long intro. Let's get into some charts, ladies and gentlemen. TBLT, a monster multi-day runner we have here. Uh, this daily chart is obviously not completely right here because we did get up into the 820 today. Um, so let's take a look here. In terms of intraday action, nice 41% move. It's a low float, very dilutive stock. Um, they've been doing a lot. Of, like, oh, they did a reverse split. I'm pretty sure they did an offering not too, too long ago. Um, but it's it relatively dilutive. They're a piece of crap company. Who cares? Who cares when we get the action? That's all we need. So we had a really nice dip and rip, actually. Dip and rip style trade. And I think what made this so great is that we actually had... Once again, we've gone over this in multiple small cap recaps. We had the high of day break, the fake high of day break, to a fake low of day break, to a reclaim. Let me get VWAP up here. Um, it was at VWAP nearly the whole time, very close to VWAP. And so then we had this consolidation right in here. And then once we got that perk through, it was kind of just off to the races. That one little, we had a little fake breakdown and a lot of volume pushed through. Uh, and from there, it just ended up becoming a monster, ripping, you know, from basically 620 up to 935. So my apologies, not 820, um, 935, beautiful move. Uh, this is one of those ones I would not have capitalized on well. I would have scalped and I probably would have been very upset selling up at like 630. Maybe this fake high at a break here before it eventually reclaimed. Um, I, I, yeah, maybe it would have been decent, you know, 20 cent gain or something, but uh, I would not have taken advantage of this whole move. And even in a fresh state of mind, I think this would have scared me out a lot, this other fake high day break. Um, but great move nonetheless. I hope you guys capitalized on that. AMTD at the end of the day, we got a lot of movement here on no news from what I can see. Higher float, um, I'm not really sure what's going on here because this is one of those weird like AMTD, Idea Group American Depository Share, each representing one class A. I don't know what that actually... Like, Normally that you'll see that a lot with like a series B um, stock where you're, you're trading each series B share equals five shares or each every three series B equals one or class B, whatever it is, equals one normal share. I don't know what the deal here is, but great run nonetheless. We have, I mean, this is a former runner. Um, it's ran before. It's ran very nicely before, you know, from three up to about nine intraday. So this does, and even back here, you know, this is, we've, it's had really weird movements before. And so, you know, we had a really nice 150% run today on air. I well, not on air, but on no, on no news. Uh, then we have PGY. And so this is a multi-day chart here, five day, 15 minute. And what I want to show here is the third day surge, baby. Woo! Third day surges are back. I love it. I love it. This is one of the best third day surges I've seen in quite some time. And so what we had here, 
really monster day one move. Uh, and yesterday's consolidation could not have gotten any tighter. And then what that eventually led to, I turned my after hours off for this, is just that breakout, right? You had a very, very clear risk level here at five. Um, now, I don't know if I would have gone ahead and entered this right out of the gates. And it would have been very tough to find an entry after that. But you had this little multi-day trend break here. Uh, at 570s, you had your risk on five there. Uh, and I mean, it was literally just it, off to the, to the races, right? I mean, from five up to 14. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move today. Really glad to see third day surges back. I hope you guys um, you know, took advantage of this. This was an amazing move. And you even had another great entry during this consolidation here for that scalp up from 10 to 14 in only about 30 minutes. So uh, really, really nice move there. Excited to see third day surges back. And the point being, I'm excited to see third day surges back because EVTL may just be setting up for something. Now, unfortunately, EVTL is a very difficult ticker to trade. Um, but in terms of the multi-day structure, it, it could be a little better. The beauty of PGY was the lack of dumping yesterday, right? Yesterday, it literally did nothing. It just stayed there all day. EVTL did dump a bit today, but what I like a lot about it is we have a really clear trend now. Um, it has sort of a really clear trend as well as a really clear intraday trend line as well, 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 as well. Um, apparently I can't get enough of saying some particular words. Anyhow, um, really nice multi-day trend setting up here. So I think a break, it's going to, it should, as long as it doesn't gap up or gap down, basically open right near that multi-day trend line here at seven and you know, have a, we have a potential move there too. So I'm keeping an eye out for EVTL for a third day surge. We've, you know, trapped enough people I'd imagine at this point uh, where tomorrow could be a great, well not tomorrow, Monday, could be a fantastic move. So this is probably my top watch going into Monday. With that said, it is a very difficult ticker to trade. Normally the best spot to get in on this one is dips because it has a lot of fake outs only to reclaim where it will break through risk levels. So keep, in, uh, keep that, <coughs> excuse me, keep that in mind. Anyways, those are the four stocks I wanted to go over today. EVTL, obviously not a real move today, but I think it has a lot of potential going into Monday for that third day surge, especially with PGY's monster, monster move today uh, that I hope you guys did take advantage of. That all, you know, all of that in the whatever, oh my God, brain. My brain does not want to function right now. Um, having said all of that, guys, that is all I've got for today. So it is Friday. Uh, I hope you guys all crushed it. I've said it a, a million times, but we had some great movers this week. So, you know, like I said, I hope you crushed it. Let me know down in the comments how you did uh, this week. Even if you didn't perform as best as you could have, as best as you wanted to, let me know how you think you did. Drop a like. Um, oh, and in the comments too. Drop, so let me know how you did, but also let me know what you could have done to improve. Right, or to improve. Improved? What you could have done to improve, to improve. Grammar was never my, uh, my, my strong suit. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below how you did and what you could have done better. Um, drop a like, make sure you subscribe guys. I'm sending positivity out here from Austin, Texas to all you guys. I love you all. Thank you for this uh, you know, consistent support and I will see you guys back here next week, hopefully back in a spot where I'm regularly trading, but not gonna rush it, not gonna, not gonna force anything because we're no FOMO gang here. If you don't comment anything, at least comment no FOMO gang, baby, with a little hashtag or something. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. We hope you guys enjoyed that last video. Thanks so much for watching and being a part of the Stocks Trade community. We wouldn't be here without you guys. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but we can't do it without your help. So if you enjoy what we're putting out and want to hear more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.